All aboard, it's Jang here with the Playmobil surprise egg from the Fairies line. This is Mermaid with Seahorses. Now it's not much of a surprise if you see the box like this and you already know what it is, but it is done as a proper surprise egg where there's just a regular, mostly unmarked egg included. So I wanted to show kind of the experience. You know, parents would see the package but kids potentially would just get it like this and that's all there is to it. It has a couple of bits of tape on the side. You can just remove those just for safety in transit. And then there you go. That's how it can be presented like this. It's a pretty nice large sized thing. It has a slot on the base which was actually used for attaching the bottom of, of the cardboard packaging. But I almost feel like that can be used as a, a piggy bank when it's done. You can fit a quarter in there, but the idea is you take this thing apart and then that's where the surprise would be revealed. You find out what's inside. It has the completed figure, has the stand, some small pieces, and then some little stuff that you need to put together. So I'll go ahead and put that together and uh, come right back to you. So interestingly, there is no sort of instruction sheet included with the set. So if you do discard the cardboard, uh, you know, outer packing material and just present this to a kid as just the egg part, it might be a little bit of, of uh, help that's needed depending upon the age of the, the child just to understand what goes where. But it, there aren't that many pieces included there. So a lot of folks will be able to just figure that out pretty easily. It has a nice little little base, little t terrain piece to anchor everything. Got some hard coral up here. Three seahorses. Two of them are the same color, kind of an aqua color. And one of them is a very pale light yellow color. Those can be attached in a few different places around on the coral. And then there's some soft coral down here or some anemones depending on how you want to look at that. And a bunch of small shells as well as a pretty large uh, starfish. The shells come in four different configurations or four different uh, designs. That's actually pretty nice. And those are pearly, very, very pearly. It actually looks pretty realistic, I would say. Those are Pretty nice. I like them. They look different depending upon whether you have them right side up or upside down, so they give you even more variance. And the starfish is just one single color. Now the mermaid does have one adhesive gem that you have to attach for her pendant or her necklace there. And that actually looks pretty nice. It's kind of a metallic pink color. She's got lots of, of scale decorations going down the front as well as some kind of glittery look. To her. I think there is a little bit of glitter, actual glitter, that's attached to this as well. You can see some sparkles down around the, the fin. And looking around the back, you see the design of the hair a little bit better. Just a pretty long flowing hair and it kind of bunches together towards the end because you know, it's all underwater and such. And she stands up just fine on her own. And this works like a regular Playmobil figure uh, for the most part. You know, it doesn't have the ability to to bend at the legs because it doesn't have proper legs, but the head is able to turn back and forth. You got a decent range with the, the way the, head, the hair piece is set up and you can rotate the hands. You can put things in the hands and uh, there is no rotation at the waist, even though there is the, the joint right there, the connection, the seam, but uh, yeah, that's, that's all you can do with that. But it's a nice little thing, you know, a nice little surprise for kids and it makes for a nice small display. It's very cheery. It's, it's colorful, but not too colorful, I think, and properly captures kind of a magical seabed scene, I would say. I especially like the anemones here. That's my favorite, my personal favorite part of this set. Let me know if you have any thoughts about this that you would like to share. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you again very soon.